कॉन्सेप्ट नंबर एट प्राइसिंग एंड वैल्यूएशन ऑफ फ्यूचर्स कॉन्ट्रैक्ट द वैल्यू ऑफ फ्यूचर्स इज एज वी हैव डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस ट्रेडिंग इट इज एन एक्यूमुलेटेड गेन और लॉस सेंस इट्स प्रीवियस डे सेटलमेंट इन केस ऑफ फ्यूचर्स देर इज देर इज दिस कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डेली सेटलमेंट एंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एम टी एम दैट इज मार्क टू मार्केट एंड वेन सेटल्ड द फ्यूचर्स प्राइस इज इफेक्टिवली रिसेट टू द सेटलमेंट प्राइस एंड द वैल्यू गोज टू जीरो so to understand this let us take this example here the stock price as on today is 100 so at t1 the payoff will be 103 minus 100 that is $3 in case of t2 the price has risen to 105 but your starting point will then be considered as 103 and this gives you a profit of $2 the next day and on t3 the price again further rises to 108 and this time the opening price was 105 so again there is a profit of $3 and if you add the profit of all these 3 days then you get a profit of $8 on this contract so this is in case of futures this is the futures payoff now this is what is meant by daily mtm settlement that every day these profits are credited to the gainers account and debited to the uh, margin balance of the losers account on a daily basis okay so if you uh, take a look at the margin account okay let us uh, think of it as a margin balance then then let's say this is a zero margin 1 2 and 3 so on t1 what is happening the margin balance will increase to 3 and then at the end of t1 the margin balance will again drop down to zero that means once this amount has been settled then for the next day again both the buyer and seller has to be on a neutral position so the next day again it will be a fresh start and the value of the futures will become zero so on t2 when there is a gain of 2 dollars this will again start from zero this is the profit and once this profit is settled the value of the future will again be reduced to zero similarly on t3 the value of futures contract again rises to $3 as seen here and once this amount is settled again the value of the futures contract will become zero so this is the meaning of the second statement that once these profits have been this mtm has been settled then the price then the price is effectively reset to the settlement price and the value goes to zero now what if it was a case of a forward contract instead of futures if it was a forward in that case let us compute the forward payoff then that would be at at the initiation there will be no payment right at the initiation the value of the forward contract is zero there is no payment at all then also during the term of the contract there is no payoff only at expiry the prices will be compared so as on expiry the price is 108 right and the forward price is determined at 100 so the difference between the two will be the payoff and dollar 8 will be uh, paid on the expiry so the total payment or the total payoff in case of forward and future is going to be the same it's just that in case of futures the payments are made on a daily basis and in case of forwards it is a case of one time settlement so once you have understood this now you should be able to understand this note here that if futures prices are positively correlated with interest rates then futures is preferred over forwards that means if the interest rates are rising and futures prices is also rising in that case what would what should you prefer would you prefer a futures contract or a forward contract the answer is a futures contract because in case of futures there is a concept of daily settlement and when you get this cash you will be able to reinvest this at a higher interest rate right but in case of forwards even if you are winning then you will not be receiving any cash during the term of the contract so there is you do not have any receipts to reinvest it at a higher rates right so that opportunity is lost in case of forwards however in case of futures you can reinvest the profits at a higher interest rate
So this is why when interest rates are rising, you should prefer futures over forwards and vice versa.